occasion, I know that this event would never have come to pass if not for the vision and dedication of my predecessor, the Rosh Hayeshiva, Chancellor Norman Lamb. I've had privilege to view this process of constructing the Gluck Center as the first great collaborative effort between my administration and that of Rabbi Lamb. I believe that it turned out how both of us dreamed and how neither of us expected, but it cements the kind of continuity and partnership that I've come to treasure in Dr. Lamb and the ongoing guidance and involvement in the destiny of Yeshiva University. It's my great honor to call upon Rosh HaYeshiva, Rabbi Norman Lamb, to impart the very bracha. Thank you, Mr. President, for those kind words. It's true that it was a combined effort over time. Uh, I started this when I met with the Luck family in 1997, I believe it was, and here we are, 12 years later, enjoying this wonderful celebration. There's a correction I have to make for uh, what, what, what President Joel said. It's true it was collaborative, but the Razal told us in many places, I must fill the mitzvah if someone starts a mitzvah and for some reason it's not completed, then someone else comes and completes it, then the mitzvah is credited to the second person, not to the first. So, Mr. President, I congratulate you upon the mitzvah of this great, great event uh, for all of us to celebrate and to enjoy. A few words to those who made all this possible, and that is Mr. Jacob Gluck, uh, and his daughter Vivian and her husband Henry. Uh, Chazal say that Hakol Toloi B'Mazal I feel the same for Torah Shabbatayko. That everything depends on Mazal. Even the Sefer and the Aron Kodesh. Everything depends upon Mazal. It's a remarkable statement it also tells us that so much of life cannot be programmed, that there are vicissitudes that occur, there are events that occur that are unplanned and unsought for. And therefore they say, even the Sefer Torah in the Heichel, which means the Oren Kodesh, is subject to the to Mazel. Note only this, the word Mazel in Yiddish is Glock. Lick and Gluck. It's the same thing, just a matter of spelling. So I'm very pleased to say that it's an extremely wonderful occasion for all of us to be here and to know that this Sefer Torah and this Heichel is not mindless muscle, mindless event, but rather it is something that has been planned and executed by this wonderful family of Mr. Jacob Glockla, Laura Kiamin Togan, and his lovely children, his family, Vivian and her husband Henry, and then the rest of the family. So I want to wish them uh, endless muzzle, endless lick to all the family, to Mr. Uh, the the uh, man in the family who was really the head of it all, Mr. Jacob Glock, to Vivian, to Henry, and may they have the schus to have their lovely twin boys who are here become Talmudim and learn in their best Mazel Tov to everyone.